Kubor Kabati C TV. Lawan Rashapi the Kafran Motors. I am Tata Punch. Price starting at 5.80 lakhs. Ringkat Bakanet Foodish. Or Dharma Pi, Nin Wan Ramani, Hakir Dob Ying Jong Pi. U nong ilam jong all India Trinamool Congress Meghalaya State Unit U Dr Mukul Sangma U la ong ba um sngo plai isu na da wei ni argut ke MLA jong ni ke parti ki lek ban pini so se ki wei pat ke parti hashwa ke election se ka yeng dor ba thau ain ke ban salong ha usnam ar hajar afula ha ka ji ekran bigila pathai ko bor ha ka singi balang ka khat nyo tre unai lar ar hajar afu ar U Dr Mukul Sangma u la ong ba ka jing phet sang ha ki sitting MLA kan om ja ta ha Trinamool Congress Hendai kini akan saja long ru wat hakiwek wek kisang sang perthai kum ka UDP ka PDF ka NPP bat kiwek wek de kisang sang perthai kini kijing keran jong Dr Mukul Sangma ka long hadian bau MLA jong ka maus ram konstituensi bat Himalaya Shang Pliang ula pen pawe ka man ban nek peniso no LD bat ka BJP shwa ka election bat dangshan da ki spa ngut kinong buat jong u kila lek peniso sha ka BJP certain things are before the people there is no denial that a few people will be adventurous. Have I not told you in last year? Not only from AITC, but even from other parties. There will be few adventurism. There will be some element of surprises as we come closer to the election. After the session, you will see many things happening. Whether it is from NPP, whether it is from UDP, you will see many things happening. You know, It's not just from AITC. But please remember one thing, that political parties per se, and as far as our party is concerned, we are not looking only at the sitting MLS. We have taken pride in telling our friends, in conveying this message, which is loud and clear and which is before the public domain, that AITC is providing a platform, a platform for people who share our intent of serving the people with utmost sense of commitment, dedication, and who would like to see that this particular political platform can be really uh, utilized for the purpose of embarking upon a new journey in starting their innings as politicians or as members of members in active politics and see how best we can all collectively aggregate our strength to serve the people and build this beautiful state okay. you president or no i don't want to comment all those uh, you know uh, probably people who don't mean anything for me, okay? Let me not comment on their statement. They don't know what Dr. Mukul is, who Dr. Mukul is, okay? Today, please tell these people that it is only during the time when we had the privilege to be in the government, we embark upon number of initiatives to take cognizance of this particular concern, this contentious issue. What have they done? This particular government, has really uh, destroyed what has been done in the past. They have dismantled what was done so far. <laughs> then the people of the state, through various civil society organizations, engage with the government then, engage with the government to find out a way, alternative to whatever law is available at the moment, by enacting a law by the state legislature of our own to deal with this issue of illegal immigration and infiltration. Have we not done it? Have we not done it? What happened to this Meghalaya Resolution Safety and Security Act? What has happened to this? You have to ask the government of the day. Why have they ultimately engaged in those exercises to ultimately dilute the intent and create the situation where the application and implementation of this very mandate of the state legislature has been ultimately put in a cold storage. What is the intent? That means they want to ensure that these whole concerns of the people are put in the, as a back partner. That means it is a clear reflective and evidence of their intent. Their intent of ensuring that they do not take cognizance of these concerns of the people and they do not have any process or any mechanism to be put in place to implement any 
measure which has been already mandated by this particular legislation of a long drawn exhaustive due deliberation and engagement understanding the pros and cons and understanding the limitations in as far as the mandate of the legislative jurisdiction of the state legislature is concerned please remember one thing when we talk about enacting any law which revolves around certain measures well even the uh, subjects which are listed under the union list may be uh, to an extent uh, infringe upon therefore there has to be a tight rope walking a tight rope walking during the process of legislation to ensure that any law legislated by the state legislature to give effect to the act does not come under judicial scrutiny nor gets you know somehow uh, uh, dislocated due to judicial scrutiny and this is precisely what we have done it has been a tight rope walking and it has been an outcome you know an outcome of as i have said a long drawn exhaustive engagement and discussion but at the same time meticulous understanding of the chances of any crossing of the laxman rekha when we embark upon any legislation keeping in mind the legislative jurisdiction of the state legislature and today all this hard work and the outcome of that good outcome of that hard work what has happened to that that means this government had the nefarious intent to ultimately undo this piece of legislation against the larger interest of the people of the state